Question 1. What is database mirroring? What are the benefits of that? Answer. Database mirroring is an option to improve the availability of a database which supports automatic failover with no loss of data. Benefits. Increases data protection. Increases availability of a database. Improves the availability of the production database during upgrades. Question 2. What are the prerequisites for database mirroring? Answer. Database base should be in full recovery model. Database name same on both servers. Server should be on same domain name. Mirror database should be initialized with principal server. Question 3. What are the restrictions for database mirroring? Answer. Maximum 10 databases per instance can support on a 32-bit system. Database mirroring is not supported with either cross-database transactions or distributed transactions. Question 4. Explain about principal, mirror and witness servers. Answer. Principal server. One server serves the database to client is called principal server and it having original data. Can have only one principal server and it has to be on a separate server. Mirror server. Other server instance acts as a hot or warm standby server is called mirror server and it having copy of database. Witness server. The witness server is an optional server and it controls automatic failover to the mirror if the principal becomes Becomes unavailable. To support automatic failover, a database mirroring session must be configured in high availability. Question 5. In which operations are running the operating mode? Answer. Asynchronous. Under asynchronous the principal server does not wait for the response from the mirror server after sending log buffer. Synchronous. Under synchronous the principal server sends the log buffer to the mirror server and then waits for an acknowledgement from the mirror server. Question 6. What are the operating modes and explain them? Answer. High availability. Principal plus mirror plus witness. High availability mode. Runs synchronously. Requires a witness server instance. The principal server sends the log buffer to the mirror server and then waits for a response from the mirror server. Principal is not available. The witness and mirror will decide automatic failover. Mirror becomes online. High protection. Principal plus mirror. High protection mode. Runs synchronously. Always commit changes at both the principal and mirror automatic failover is not possible high performance high performance mode runs asynchronously and the transaction safety set to off the principal server does not wait for a response from the mirror server after sending the log buffer the principal server running nice and fast but could lose data on the mirror server Question 7. What is endpoint? How you create endpoint? Answer. An endpoint is a network protocol which is used to communicate principal, mirror and witness servers over the network. Creation of an endpoint. Create endpoint state equals started, stopped, disabled as TCP. Listener port equals 5022 5020 thirds for database mirroring. Role equals partner, witness. Question 8. What is the default of endpoints, port numbers, of principal, mirror and witness servers? How to find the port numbers? Answer. The default port numbers of principal, mirror and witness servers are 5022, 5023 and 5024. To find port number, select name, port from sys.tcp endpoints. Question 9. Which trace flag is used in mirroring? Answer. Trace flags are used to temporarily set specific server characteristics or to switch off on a particular behavior. 1400 trace flag is used in mirroring. Question 10. In which recovery model we can use in mirroring? Answer. In mirroring the principal and mirror databases are used only full recovery model. Question 11. What is role switching? Answer. Interchanging of roles like principal and mirror are called role switching. Question 12. What is the syntax to stop the database mirroring? Answer. Alter database database name set partner off. Question 13. How to configure mirroring? Answer. Choose principal server, mirror server, and optional witness server. The principal and mirror server instances must be running the same addition either standard addition or enterprise addition. The witness server instance can run on SQL server standard addition, enterprise addition, workgroup addition, or express addition. Mirror database requires restoring a recent backup and one or more t.log backups of the principal database with no recovery.
Question 14. How to monitoring mirroring? Answer. There are six methods are available for monitoring the database mirroring. Database mirroring monitor. Database mirroring monitor is a GUI tool that shows update status and to configure warning thresholds. SQL Server Management Studio. A green arrow on the mirror server is indicates running well. A red arrow indicates problems that need to investigate. SQL Server Log. It provides information of mirroring establishment and status. If any errors occurs it will be logged to SQL Server Log and Windows Event Log. Performance Monitor. It can provide real-time information about database mirroring. We can use performance counters to get status of the database mirroring such as bytes received, sec, bytes sent, sec, transaction delay etc. Profiler. Profiler Many events are providing the status of the database mirroring system stored procedures. SP underscore DBM Monitor Update. Monitoring SP underscore DBM Monitor Change. Monitoring SP underscore DBM monitor help monitoring SP underscore DBM monitor drop monitoring. Question 15. What is hardening? Answer. As quickly as possible, the log buffer is written to the transaction log on disk, a process called hardening.